Ken LaValle, the superintendent of the Lowell Police Department. And I wanted to speak with you uh, about a matter that occurred yesterday in Lowell at the Lowell Public Library and give you some facts about this particular case. There was a, uh, an incident that occurred uh, yesterday and uh, what basically happened was uh, a person who was at the library and was under uh, supervision by the probation department was there and removed from his, his person uh, part of a device that is used to track his whereabouts, a GPS device. This device apparently was removed from his belt when he was utilizing the restroom uh, in the Lowell Library in a bathroom adjacent to the children's section of the library. He then left the library and the device was left in the bathroom on the windowsill. This disconnection, so to speak, from the other part of the device which is wrapped around his ankle uh, caused the device on the windowsill to sound an alarm, emit an alarm. Uh, the employee of the library, a library aide, was drawn to the sound, retrieved the device, and brought it to the uh, librarian in charge. At that point, the gentleman, approximately 40 minutes later, came back to retrieve the device and um, the librarian was suspicious, recognized the fact that maybe there was more to the story than met the eye, and the police were notified. An officer responded to the scene. Uh, the officer then spoke to the individual. Uh, the person admitted that he was on, um, in a uh, situation where he was being monitored uh, by probation and was on this device. Uh, further conversation ensued between the officer and a detective here at the Lowell Police Department who works in the the unit that supervises people who are investigated in these types of crimes. And uh, contact was made with the probation department, and the probation department issued a temporary, or a, a temporary warrant, so to speak, uh, to arrest the individual for violating the terms of the probation by being disconnected from the device for approximately 40 minutes. That individual was arrested uh, by the Lowell Police Department, held overnight here at the Lowell Police Department, and taken to the Superior Court this morning uh, in Lowell. And uh, at that point, the, uh, uh, apparently a hearing was held on this particular matter, and the individual was released uh, from custody, and all charges were, at this point, from what I understand, dropped. So at this point in time, um, the information that I am giving to you uh, was information I was able to ascertain uh, this afternoon uh, upon further uh, discussion with detectives involved in this case and also by uh, speaking with people who had information about what occurred in court this morning. So at this point in time, this matter appears to be closed. Uh, there is no further investigation underway by the Lowell Police Department into this matter. Uh, there does not appear to be any crime uh, committed in this particular case uh, other than the fact that there was an apparent violation of probation by not being monitored for that approximately 40 to 45 minute period of time. So uh, that is basically all the information I have in this case, and I just wanted, I know that there had been a great deal of uh, uh, media inquiries into this matter. There was um, my understanding from the city manager that, uh, that the city librarian was getting numerous phone calls and inquiries from the media, and he requested that I then brief the media on this matter and bring you all up to speed on this case. Any indication why he took this thing off, though? Do you have anything about that? Was it just because he was in the restroom, or can you comment on that at all? Uh, I don't have specific information about that, but I think there's an assumption being made that, that it was inadvertently removed from the belt when uh, the individual was using the restroom. At least that's the explanation that we're offering. Is, is, it, is it the opinion of the police department and the courts that he, he left this uh, piece there accidentally? I, I can't comment on what happened in court today or what the, the reasoning was behind uh, the decision Before. made. Police department clearly left it there accidentally. I think what happened was yesterday, our police officers who responded to that scene, their suspicions were aroused by the circumstances involving this particular case. Uh, there have been other incidents in libraries in the Commonwealth, as you know, where children have been victimized. And uh, in this particular case, uh, the individual who had this device was in the library in an area adjacent to the children's section. There was con concern by the officer. That's why probation was contacted and uh, a decision was made to um, uh, issue a temporary warrant. The officers had now the, uh, the right, the ability to arrest this individual on that warrant. Certainly the, the individual was taken into custody and uh, this matter was resolved in court today. 
So I think that certainly, um, I, I believe the officer felt that there was at least suspicion was aroused to the point that uh, they needed to look into this matter further and maybe that, that the probation of, uh, authorities who are responsible for monitoring this individual should be contacted and should be um, uh, advised of the situation. And they made a decision to issue the warrant and have that person uh, arrested on this charge. Well, weren't his, the rules of his probation uh, that he was, uh, the the conditions that he was supposed to stay away from uh, children under 16 and wasn't he in violation of probation for simply being near the children's section? I can't comment on that. I can't say that he was indeed in contact with any children at any time. I can tell you that his device was found in the bathroom adjacent to the children's section. But just being in that area, that's not uh, a probation violation? Well, again, um, that matter was uh, apparently adjudicated today uh, in Lowell Superior Court. Okay. I have no information on what occurred for and what, what is that? Is it is it a receiver or something? That, yeah, it's, it's, more, your belt or exactly. it's more or less attached to the belt. It's more or less like a, a cell phone or, a, or a, a pager type of device. So it's a two-tiered system. One is the bracelet around the ankle. The other one is the device attached to the belt. They two, they must act in, in, in unison in order for them to both be effective. In other words, you can't take one and, and, and the other one. Uh, if you remove one, the other doesn't work. You have to have both devices on you at all times in order for the device to work. But the device in your belt, you can remove and take off. Apparently so. On your own free will. That's correct. I like the bracelet. I noticed you didn't. Right. Uh, I noticed you didn't uh, refer to this individual by his name. Right. You know, I mean, in this particular case, uh, there was a press release uh, that you all have, I believe. But in this case, uh, based on the information I received regarding this matter this afternoon, and the outcome in the superior court, uh, as far as I'm concerned, this matter is closed. Would you call it a mix-up? A mix-up in what way? Well, um, in the sense that uh, a man, a man was arrested. Mm -hmm. He was released. No charges. Uh, well, well. First of all, the man was arrested on a warrant, a warrant issued by the probation department. So I, I'm not going to comment on any. Uh, you know, we communicated information that we had to the probation department. I'm sure they had um, made a decision based on what they received from the local police department. They felt it was in the best interest of the Commonwealth to bring this man into custody and, and get this matter heard before a judge. The judge made the determination, and I can't comment one way or the other whether, you know, I mean. I guess the old saying is, damned if you do, damned if you don't, you know. But in this case, I think that the right decision was made by our offices. They made the call to the probation. The probation made a call, uh, ordered the arrest of the individual. That occurred, and um, and then the courts took it from there. All right? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Just on camera. Uh, my name